to thank you for stopping by my channel today and welcome if you're new here stick around if you've been watching our channel thank you so much I only try to show you how to make quick easy affordable dinners or side dishes anything it's always gonna have to have those three criteria so stick around I'm gonna show you how to make some sweet milk cornbread muffins oh so good all right the first thing you need to do when making cornbread especially if you're using cast iron is to go ahead and put a little lard or shortening or butter you can use or crappy oil if that's all you got but you need to put enough in there that your food won't stick all right so we're going to take this pan now and i'm going to put it in my little toaster oven at 375 degrees and we're going to let that get hot 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 while that's getting hot we're going to make our batter all right we're having hoppin johns for dinner and there's nothing better to go with hoppin johns than cornbread they're just they have to go together to make your cornbread muffins all you're going to need is one cup of cornmeal one cup of flour one fourth cup of sugar three teaspoons of baking powder a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of your favorite oil lard grease whatever you need a quarter of a cup you're gonna need one cup of sweet milk which is regular whole milk and one egg and I'm gonna use this very large egg today I'm hoping it's a double yoker because that'll even make my muffins better now all we need to do is load our dry ingredients in the bigger bowl so we got that one cup of cornmeal one cup of flour fourth a cup of sugar three teaspoons of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt I'm just going to take a regular whisk and mix that all together make sure it's good and incorporated you know about a minute I'd whip it about a minute all right we're gonna set that aside take our small bowl we're gonna crack that egg yay it was a double yoker look at that double yolk these are gonna be really extra good muffins and then to my eggs I'm gonna add my sweet milk and that fourth a cup of this is lard y'all can use whatever you like but I like lard when I make cornbread or biscuits or anything I'm gonna take that same whisk put it in here and mix all my wet ingredients together now I'm gonna take those wet ingredients drop them right into the dry ingredients give that a good mix we're just gonna mix and mix till we get it all mixed together and you know what well maybe okay all right that looks pretty good to me actually I think I'm gonna add a couple of drops more of milk because that's a little thick and that might make my muffins a little dry so I'm going to add just a few drops more milk might be a tablespoon you know it all just depends on your flour and the day and the humidity see that's much better and all I did was add a tablespoon okay so now it's ready see if my pan's hot enough to take out of the oven and we'll load it up all right let's get this 
nice hot pan out of the oven. And I'm going to use a one-third cup scoop. Put that in there just like that. Even if I was using just a regular muffin tin, I would still heat that oil and do it just like I'm doing it. Last one. That's just enough batter for seven muffins. Okay, and just so you don't make this happen, because we're recording this and it takes a while to move the camera around and stuff, they're already, because this pan is hot, they're already rising and that may cause them to fall. So if mine fall, yours will not because you'll put the batter in and you'll stick it immediately in the stove. So we are going right now to that oven. And we are gonna get them in there and hope they don't fall. Okay, and they're gonna take between 25 and 30 minutes. Just keep an eye on them or use a toothpick test. Just stick a toothpick right down the middle if it comes out clean. They're done. Y'all, look at my perfect muffins. Just look at that perfect rise. Okay, and the way you take your muffins out without breaking them. Look at there. If you have a really good pan, you should have no trouble. Look at that. Just lift them right out. Look at that bottom. Oh, they're perfect. 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 Okay, we're going to get our plate ready. Got our Hoppin' Johns, which are served with rice. Get a good helping of rice on the bottom. And we're gonna go in here and get us some hopping John. Oh yeah. And that is a perfect dinner. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Oh yeah. Look at the little fork. There you go. I really want to try that. I know what that tastes like. I really want to try your cornbread. I actually know what it tastes like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we love cornbread. Anytime mm. I have beans or collard greens, or any kind of greens or any kind of beans, I always wow. make a pan of cornbread. Yeah. Either muffins or regular cornbread. Five star on the corn muffins. Mm. I'm gonna need a big old chunk of onion to go uh, with this. Uh -huh. And then she used, oh, you used that I honey used spiral that ham. ham. Wow. Yeah, that's good. I'm eating with my fingers. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, well, I guess I just need to go because I know they're all sitting there drooling watching me eat this food. And I'm mm. making them hungry. Uh -huh. Are you hungry yet? Mm. If not, Really ought to be. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. We're out of here. See you in the next video. Bye.